and welcome to Legal Basics with Sarah Lo Global and my name is Sian. Now, for the human race not to go extinct, we have to reproduce. Yes. So that means people have to get pregnant, people have to have children, and the laws of labor have to facilitate that process of getting more humans so that we don't go extinct. So on today's episode we're going to look at maternity and hmm paternity <laughs> leave and also sick leave. When a person has been unwell and they need some time to be away to stay alive and come back and work. And on those topics today we're joined by my colleague Uh, who is an expert in this matters i will let her introduce herself hi viewer my name is karo moriuki i am an advocate of the high court of kenya with 6 years post admission experience um i work at the firm of musimi and company advocates thank you sian for having me you're welcome so now uh, just take us through what is maternity leave how it works so maternity leave mm-hmm. are is a break f- for a female employee uh during pregnancy and childbirth so the law provides that uh, maternity leave mm-hmm. is uh, supposed to run for a period of 3 months mm-hmm. um it can be taken together with um annual leave mm-hmm. uh but for maternity leave to actually kick in mm-hmm. um what we need to remember is that we need to give uh, a notice to the employer mm-hmm. it's supposed to be a 7 days notice mm-hmm. and the law provides that that notice has to be in writing okay um additionally um the the law provides that if an employer requires mm-hmm. the employee that mm-hmm. is the female employee who wants to take maternity leave mm-hmm. should provide a certificate of medical condition mm-hmm. from uh, a medical practitioner or a midwife well i find that funny honestly because pregnancy is a uh, something that is easy to see <laughs> it speaks for why, itself yeah i mean there's a big tummy and a baby in there i mean why would an employer need a certificate <clears throat> from a doctor to prove that i'm pregnant <laughs> ah i guess well um in fact i have no answer <laughs> <laughs> i have no answer for that but uh, the, mm-hmm. i think it's uh, the idea of giving notice is basically to provide uh, to just notify the employer but there are the instances where people don't show oh, where you just okay. hear mm-hmm. someone give birth or you know yeah. it's not very obvious yeah. but I, i don't even know whether that was the point ah, it just okay. actually uh for purposes of giving the employer notice that mm-hmm. hey i'm about to knock off for three months ah all right yes oh well and yeah. of course in, in in all fairness there's also team rototank who look like they're pregnant <laughs> and they're not <laughs> <laughs> round and round. <laughs> round and round. <laughs> there is no baby. Yeah. <laughs> so how long is is maternity leave? That's it. Wait. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maternity leave is supposed to run for a period of 3 months mm-hmm. and um these 3 months I know people ask all the time is it 3 calendar months is it 3 uh months calculated in terms of the working days mm-hmm. and the simple answer is that uh, it's 3 calendar months. Okay. Um that an employer is um uh, and I told to. All right. Yes. Okay. So now in our previous broadcast about annual leave, you said uh, the employer has to give employees a minimum of 21 days with full pay. Correct. And also now for maternity you also mentioned that um a pregnant woman gets 3 months with full pay. That is correct. Uh, so so well when I look at it if a person has already taken their maternity leave that year, do they do, do they still get to have uh, annual leave or that's it? they get to have their annual leave mm-hmm. if they had not taken annual leave uh during the year okay. the the period of 12 months mm-hmm. and uh, the law actually provides that uh, uh, a pregnant woman who is going on maternity leave mm-hmm. should not uh, forfeit their annual leave okay so and that is why i said uh, some people elect mm-hmm. to take all of it together mm-hmm. uh, but the point is uh, the three months that uh, someone has been on leave mm-hmm. plus the annual leave mm-hmm. should all be paid full pay. 
Wow. Yes. Ah, well, babe, sounds like it's nice to be an employee. <laughs> It's nice to be pregnant. My, it must be nice to be <laughs> pregnant. I mean, the, we, the, we're looking at what? Almost five months of full pay? <laughs> yes. Ah, that's interesting. Yes. Okay, so um, you, you also mentioned a paternity leave. Yes. Uh, just take us through what a paternity leave is. So um, it's, it's basically the opposite of maternity leave mm -hmm. for, the, for the man who mm -hmm. is responsible for this pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So they are entitled to two weeks of paternity leave mm -hmm. with full pay. Um, mm. <laughs> Why? Uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh -huh. knows? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> the main reason is so that they can go get congratulations from their friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair. Uh <-huh. laughs> but I think the idea behind it is uh, uh, families are recognized sure. uh, under the constitution. Is it's, I mean, it recognizes the family unit mm -hmm. as the basic unit of society. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's important also mm -hmm. for the father mm -hmm. to bond with the family. It's a new family, a new baby. Okay. So uh, I would say help around with the baby as well. Help. Help. Yeah. <laughs> help. Mm -hmm. There are many fathers with throw stones, but mm -hmm. I think that is the essence of uh, paternity leave mm -hmm. so that the family can bond. Ah, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, and help yes. the mother. And help the mother. Help, help. More importantly. To help the mother. Yes, although, well, the Lord does not provide what you should do. With your paternity leave. With the paternity leave. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, I think men should, fathers should stop going, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so actually, on that note, I'm thinking... Uh, when when um, when um, the rationale behind a maternity leave is so that the mother can heal physically and also bond with the child and Correct. and accommodate all these changes that have come into her life yes, yes. but now on this maternity leave that i am seriously frowning <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, what what happens? The I guy just is congratulated. He's always out here getting free whiskey, <laughs> being congratulated, coming home at three a.m. and just making life harder. <laughs> so, uh, oh well, I think if they were helping, it would be fine. Yeah. But now, if they were not helping, it it should be worse. Yeah. So I'm just thinking, and and probably this is not in the law. Maybe you'll make a comment about it. <laughs> that instead of this man staying at home for two weeks and coming home at two a.m. every day, uh, can I write to his employer? Lawyer and say, dear employer of my mister, please have him at the office and then those two weeks pay, send them to me. Uh, okay, this is this is my view. Mm -hmm. The ones who are helping mm -hmm. should get longer periods of leave. Oh, that would be just nice. those ones. Yeah. Yeah. The others mm -hmm. stay in the office mm -hmm. and you feel free to write to the employer and ask for the pay. For two weeks. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh -huh. for, the two, for the two weeks that he's working, mm -hmm. yeah, take it as compensation for your pain and suffering. Amen. <laughs> but also, I would like to ask, for as far as paternity leave goes, uh -huh. uh, is it the employer to decide what they need as proof that this man truly had a baby? Because uh, it could be his neighbor, it could be his girlfriend, it could be no baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the law does not provide for how that uh, should come into effect exactly. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I would think is that an, an employer who wants to be sure would ask for something, documentation like um, uh, a birth notification, yeah. which is issued uh, in the cause of admission of the mother in hospital. Mm -hmm. um, a birth certificate, I would think, would take longer. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, but mm -hmm. maybe in this case, uh, um, a birth notification should suffice. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. So, yes. so basically, if probably if the father does not have access to that kind of documentation, maybe he would not be in a position to get paternity leave because you would need to prove it um assuming that is what the employer requires mm -hmm. i would think uh, not but it's it's his entitlement uh. um <clears throat> but how how that is actually you know it, it is in practice mm -hmm. um i believe it's just a matter of providing that notification okay. if that is what the employer requires mm -hmm. then you provide the notification i don't think that should and be and you're problem. off to go party for uh, two weeks <laughs> yes <laughs> oh, it's a man's world. It is. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> maybe we should go through sick leave. Yeah. Okay, so um, sick leave um, is an entitlement mm -hmm. for an employee mm -hmm. who falls sick mm -hmm. and who has been in employment with that employer for a period of two consecutive months. Mm -hmm. So what the law provides is that uh, an employer who falls sick during that period is entitled to seven days of mm -hmm. sick leave with mm -hmm. full pay. Okay. Um, 
consequently, after mm -hmm. the seven days lapse, then what they're entitled to is another seven days in the period of one year mm -hmm. uh, with half pay. Okay. So it, there's no provision for what happens after the 14, 14 days, days mm -hmm. uh, the seven days with full pay and the seven days with half pay. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it, it's dependent on agreement. the specific agreement between the employer and the employee. All right. Yes. Oh, well, it sounds like, okay, for a person can proceed on maternity leave and then maybe they are well get sick leave and then get annual leave. Yes. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah. It I can mean, happen. Yeah, it's not can encouraged happen. though. <laughs> uh -huh. It can happen. Uh, they can all be combined together. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, what I would stress and of utmost importance is uh, the, w look at the agreement between the parties. Yes, mm -hmm. you're entitled to the three maternity leave. Yeah. Uh, yes, you're entitled to leave, mm -hmm. <coughs> annual leave. Yeah. In, for that matter so mm -hmm. and uh, you're also entitled to sick leave mm -hmm. so it's it's possible mm -hmm. for all of them to coincide such that you know you you you've taken your annual leave mm -hmm. depending on the agreement with your employer your maternity leave kicks in and then maybe you fall sick after that okay okay yeah god forbid so it's possible yeah but um um i think what the um, what mm -hmm. i'm saying is um the agreement between the employer and employee mm -hmm. should kick in at all times. Okay. Yeah. So the employer will require to be required to provide the requisite notices. Mm -hmm. If it's for maternity, for um, annual leave, mm -hmm. and uh, also for sick leave. Mm -hmm. And for sick leave, actually, it provides for notice to the employer. Okay. As soon as is pra is practically possible. Okay. Yes. All right. So now, um, <coughs> when a woman takes uh, all this time to be away chances are that at the workplace there's interruption yes you know for example if somebody was a secretary for instance and now they're not there i need someone at the front office and maybe now they are away for five months so yes. there's a chance that at the end of the five months something has changed True. as opposed to when a man has been away for two weeks and then they're just able to literally just walk in and pick up where they left off yes. so what does the law provide regarding to the changes that could have taken place while this lady was away helping the world to not go in into extinction mm -hmm. so um <clears throat> thank you uh what the law provides is that once you resume work okay after you've uh, taken that extended leave mm -hmm. you're entitled to go back to the same position that you had mm -hmm. and if that position is not available for the reasons that you've described mm -hmm. then you're entitled to get an equally favorable position mm -hmm. with terms and conditions not less than the one that the ones that you were enjoying before Oh, great. Yes. So mm -hmm. it's either the same position mm -hmm. or a similar position mm -hmm. with similar benefits, similar terms. All right. Yes. Okay. So yes. that brings us to the, towards the end of our broadcast. I know, I know guys are about to go to paternity <laughs> leave, <laughs> but really I advocate for the money. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Carol, for joining us. You're if you have any questions regarding uh, the topics that we've dealt with today, you can write to Carol. How can people reach you? Um, I can be reached on email at carol at musimilo.com mm -hmm. uh, and alternatively at litigation at musimilo.com. All right. Is I'll that Carol with a K or with a C? C-A-R-O-L ah. at musimilo.com. All right. Yes. And if you have any questions for us, any queries, any topics that you want us to deal with in this series, please write to us at info at syroglobal.com. That's info at syroglobal.com. Or you can also use our Gmail address. That is cyrologlobal at gmail.com. I uh, would like to thank Chigiti and Chigiti Advocates for facilitating the shooting of this series. We'd also like to thank our videography team. That's Mushiri Frames. Their, Gmail, their email address will be displayed on this broadcast. Thank you for staying tuned. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.